Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We, it is the Sabbath day, the sanctified day, the 25th of June, and the time is quarter to 5 p.m. Uh, right, we're going to kick off, um, I think, the video recording just cut off the, a few minutes ago. But uh, I just want to continue. It was 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. Give thanks to the Lord for His good. His love endures forever. That, that that verse just made me, just resonated with me, man. How the Lord is good, He's, he's faithful and true. Now, coming back to, you know, the origin and the root cause of arthritis, eh? I want you to see this verse. Because arthritis is a problem with the bones. And this is the root cause of arthritis. The truth is in the Word of God. The truth is here, you'll find it. It says, Proverbs 17, verse 22, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Ezekiel 37, the valley of the dry bones. You've got to speak to the bones, speak to the spirit, uplift the spirit, make it merry, because that countenance will uplift you during trial and troubling times, right? Um I just want to go re recap because uh, I just want to go back to the prophecies that are coming through, prophecies that I've mentioned in in the the prophecies that the Lord has told me. Um, man, I'm 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 learning and I'm I can't say I'm new to this, but I'm taking heed of it for the first time. I just used to think it's myself speaking to me. I'm making these things up, but no, when I see it now coming to fruition with the exact dates. And the correlation of the Bible scriptures, it makes me see that the Lord is really there by me. Hallelujah. And I just want, the first one was the Black Pope. The second one was uh, the Black Pope. I, I, I knew. But um, I, I mentioned this in my previous video. Um, also, there's a new king on the block. Looks like um, Prince, um, Prince Charles will be the new king for the first time in, what, 70 years? 70 odd years that there'll be a new king because her far, um, Queen Elizabeth's father handed over the crown when he died. You'll see it in the movie, The Crown, I've never, or the show, I've never watched it, but I heard about it. Um, then there's a looming nuclear war and it's getting ever, ever so closer. Britain is readying their troops. Israel is getting a new government. Mystery Babylon. Uh, USA has been weakened. I saw the president actually fell off his bicycle. That was stationary. <laughs> Lord help us. If he can't even stay on his bicycle. And he's the leader of the free world. Right? Then there was... Um, what, what was the other one that was coming in now? Um, the Lithuania is being dragged in. Um, the Ezekiel 38 is coming... I'm sitting at Ezekiel 37 and it's drawing ever, ever so closer. Now, I didn't want to speak about this. I don't like to speak about pop stars and all these things. But because I used to follow these people in my wicked days. And all of a sudden, this past week, this article, and these are the heathen, the heathen, the unbelievers that are speaking about this. That's why I have to speak about when the unbelievers are speaking about this. Beyonce, British Vogue cover for the new release of her new album, Renaissance, a seventh album. Listen to the numbers. And she's a minister to the devil. She's a minister for the devil. She's speaking devilish things in the music. When you take the music away, the sounds of the music, and you just listen to them, give them a mic, that they speak the words of the songs, you'll hear there's a minister they are preaching. For the devil. Now, this Beyonce on a red horse. A cover of British Vogue. And the pictures that accompanied her. The picture speaks of all this ancient go gods. Lower G-O-D-S. These gods. And the portrayal like um, the Egyptians and all these gods. They actually have um, the, the illustrations of them. And she's dressed like all of these gods. And the minute the Lord, the, the, the Satan is using her as a poster child for these um, uh, idolatries and sacrifices unto children. This is what it is, leading your children through the fire. Hallelujah. I want to go into 
um, I've done this before, but I'm going to go into Revelation 6 and the six and the 7 seals. Because these are the seals again. We're going to go through this. And I saw when the Lamb opened, the Lamb is Jesus. He's the only one that uh, is, is able to open the seals. And when I saw the Lamb open one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, thunder of, thunder of no, noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. Come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown. And a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. This seal was opened in 2008. Now before the next seal can be opened, this has to come to fruition. And this is a white horse. I spoke about this bow, toxin. This is this current pandemic. And the king, the 44th president, the mixed race one, he was the forerunner. He is actually the one that's opening the seal. All right? He is the rider on that white horse. And he came, and a crown was given to him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, the lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, and that, that they should kill one another. And there was a sword given unto him, a great sword. Now when you look at that picture on British Vogue cover, you'll see that red horse. Remember, I told you in, ba in Belgium, they had uh, 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 everything that's going to happen. The, the, the devil, he has to tell the story before. He's very open and he tells the story before. And now with this new Pope, this new Kings, this new everything that's happening in the world. And then you see uh, uh, Beyonce sitting on this red horse. Now the cover looks like it's dripping blood behind and you'll see a crown over her head it's very very demonic it's, it, to, for to us oh look how beautiful this picture of her and you've got to see this deeper deeper symbols in it the he's the devil's actually giving you a warning he's telling you look and god is by our side he's showing you this is what's to come and now you've got this nuclear war loom, looming um, Britain has been pulled in NATO is I don't know what the story I'm not following it but I have the, the just there's an urgency in, in my spirit to speak about these things and come forward it to brother, to family members forward for these videos so that you can edify them and let them see especially my um, my testimony on come being born again it was last week I think in November uh, let me just check the date being born again, uh, being born again. It was dated the 13th of June, um, especially that video, just so that they can see the reality of this situation. Because um, he is coming. He is going to take us. He is going to regather the remnants of his, of his 12, 144,000 in the Revelation 18. He is going to get us all together. Hallelujah. Um, I'm here by uh, chapter. Uh, oh wait, I'm just gonna recap. And we went another, and we went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. So that, at the moment, we we still have peace, but this peace will be taken from the earth. Don't get caught in that turmoil. Make sure that you come to Christ. And when he had opened the third seal, there was and lo, a black horse. Now, in Belgium, that horse was already riding. So the seals has to be opened in this chronological order as it is in Revelation. So the first one has been opened, that is the pandemic. The second one is now the war. Peace shall be taken from. Now, the next is that black horse. Now, that was already showing that horse riding in Belgium, Dendermond. I did a video on that already. Right? The black horse, the apocalyptic black horse. So now this is the ap apocalyptic red horse. And this is dated for July. The video. Oh, not the album. The, the cover is British Vogue for July. And she's sitting on this red horse with the blood dripping in the background. So brothers and sisters, until the 6th of March, we're going to pray 
pray. Alléluia. Amen.